Hello, welcome back to Auto Pop Culture. Today we're going over Wheat Finn's second album called Fantasy. So this he is a LA-based DJ who was raised in Chicago, is now based in LA, and I love almost everything he throws at like out in single wise. And his last album, Life of a Wallflower Volume One, was Great was amazing, and this is even. But I also feel like, but I feel like this elevated even further. And also on top of that, this album I feel like is a different. Also sounds a bit different than Wallflower because I feel like he, he's kind of giving you more of a kind of a feature futuristic kind of like a feel with his like with his sound with his electronica. It just sounds so nice, and I love it. Um, there's his last album, which was the Life of the Wallflower Volume One, was only eight songs long, and I thought in my head I was like, yeah, this one's gonna be eight songs or maybe eleven, but this is a full-on album. It's fifteen songs, and usually, any uh, like a decade back, you would think like that's nothing, that's normal, that's normal. But nowadays, people like will make albums from nine songs to like eleven songs, and that's known as an album when it used that used to be uh well nine to ten used to be like pushing it for um more of an ep and 12 was like official like this is a full-on album so i'm happy that he is doing a he did a pretty much a full-on album with this um the sound is really nice i like that he brought back uh oliver tree who was with him before with the song um when i'm down which came out in 2016 um Love that he came back. I don't. I still think "When I'm Down" is better than this than this song of "Free Fall," um, but I definitely am not mad about this song at all. Um, so let me go through my highlights of what I liked about it. Also, kind of touch on some of the pieces of like honorable honorable mentions of songs that I like the sound of or like just lyrics or whatever. So starting off with the good stuff, I. Loved, I loved in the summer featuring um, Jamie Young, J or James Young, or James James, yeah, James Young. Um, this has a great like kind of '80s sound. I like the sound of the whole like the whole thing is to sound nice. I love the weird ex the like ex weird explosion of production that happens near the end of the song. Um, I just love it. It was a great, and I and I feel like I don't really know what they say. It was like in the summer of '25. We haven't had a 25 yet, 1925, but I don't think that we then will really, really remember that. Or 2025 is where you're going to the future. Maybe that's the dipping into the whole idea of the futuristic direction he's doing. Um, Hurting on Purpose, featuring K-Fly. I don't, or Flay, I don't really, I have an on and off thing with K-Flay. I like her. She, she, I give her respect because she always is giving you different sounds and diff and all it, like sounds with her own kind of like her own stank to it. And I love that. So, but the downside is some of the ones, some of the songs are kind of like, eh, this kind of sounds like it, it was meant for like True Blood or uh, Supernatural or whatever CW song kind of, or needs a little like badass walking moment. But with that said, you cannot deny that her voice and her attitude and her aura is fits perfectly for whatever song that she puts herself in. Um, Hurting on Purpose is amazing. I think the the whole beginning, I was like, I like this. I like the sound. She's great. She's bringing that like husky kind of voice with it, and it sounds so nice. And I love the fact that she's like, uh, I, I forgot the melody of this, but I've been. I've been drinking, I've been smoking, drinking, drinking, smoking, smoking, drinking. Um, I love that part. It's real catchy. Um, and this song is pretty much talking about self-destruction. Um, and I love the fact that, she, that one thing I do like this, of the song is the fact of the post-chorus. When she's, she's saying, what, 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 like over and over again, you think like, oh, it's going to be stupid. But nope, nope, nope. The production just, just throws you for a fucking, like, just just threw me away. I was just shook when I heard the post uh, chorus. Um, going into Drum Down Mambo featuring, uh, I think it's ja uh, Jaish, or uh, Jasha, or uh, Jashaya. Sorry, I'm butchering your name. I know it's way more simpler than what I'm saying. I'm just stumbling on words right now. Um, 
I really do like the song. It's pretty short, but I love the fact that they're mixing that kind of mambo mix with trap, and I think that was perfection. I loved it. Um, Sunshine featuring the uh, Knox is really, really good. I, it reminds me of the um, Sun Showers, or, or reminds me of Sun Showers by M.I.A., where she, I think she, I think that's also a sample that she took that they also applied to here. Um, yeah, I like it. This one, I think, is a perfect combination of the Knox mixed with Weathen. I feel like they, you can, you can hear Knox production, or you can hear his, and it just mingles so perfectly. Um, so good with, uh, Blue Low, uh, Bulo, Bulo, Bulo? What's two dots over a U? Blue, is a U? Blue Low? Um, this one is really, really nice. I love the idea that she's pretty much saying, like, your emotions, everything is getting me over this, whatever the last guy I was with, and at this moment, everything feels perfect. We look so good together in this quick and temporary distraction, you know? So I love this. I love the song. I love the production. It's really nice. Um... Also, and that pretty much, I think, oh, no, 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 and also, of course, there is Stay Forever featuring Starfucker, and I had a long relationship with Starfucker. Uh, we, I was back when Starfucker was spelt out Starfucker, so now that they shorten, they shorten it a long time ago, but they came back and they're doing more of a, they're mixed, they're doing much more um, electronic sound, too, which is, I think it's so great, and it goes so perfect with their climb of their different sounds they've been doing over time. Um, this song's amazing. I feel like I'm driving through in the future, and this is actually on one of my playlists called Hover Car, and it's, I imagine that, I imagine just driving through, like, a dark out, like, highway with electronic, like, futuristic lights, hold, like, lighting the way, blue and purple is what I see, and I'm in a black, black Hover Car, which, like, sleek feel to it. It's just so nice. The guitar, the electric guitar is great, the synth bass is amazing, um... Yeah, and yeah, that's pretty much it for I have for the best ones I like. Uh, some highlights though has to go to up and uh, up and down featuring group love. With that one, was talking about how he wants to be. Well, let me say this: he wants to. He wants to. Um, he doesn't want to wait for this person. She doesn't. He doesn't want to wait for this girl waiting on this girl like all the time and so he's like I'm not gonna do this until I feel a reciprocation back from me from you to me kind of thing um which is I'm thinking that's what he wants to say I, but he wants her to, him her to say like it's not a big deal don't be cynical I feel the same you know um so shout outs to that one shout outs to Ocean Energy featuring Mr. G uh, Gabriel that intense drop in the middle was amazing uh, what's another one? Uh, Heavy in My, or All in My Head featuring Grandson. I'm really getting, to, I'm really, really getting into Grandson. I really like his sound. Um, and I love his rawness too. Um, he reminds me of him and, uh, what is his name? It's gonna kill me. It's gonna kill me. I'm gonna completely forget his name. But anyway, him and another person should do the thing together. But, side, putting that on the side. The, um, All in My Head has a heavy guitar, and it sounds like a mosh pit direction, but it kind of stops right before it. Because you hear, hear him saying jump, and I don't really feel the rhythm where you can really jump without jumping kind of slow. But anyway, I do like it. Um, and another uh, shout out to is um, All I Needed, and also the two beginning, the intro uh, with Crone Sparks and the ending with um, R.L. Grimm's. I love that, I love that intro. I love intros and endings that li that's just instrumental. I think that's so cool. And All I Need is featuring the bottom, or uh, the front bottoms is really great. It's very short. Um, that's, but the switch up in the very end is very, very nice. Um, so yeah, so that's pretty much what I got. It's, I give this album, I really, really liked it. I give this album a nine out of 10. Um, leave a comment below to me what you thought. Uh, don't forget to like, subscribe, hit the notification bell so you get more of my videos, and I will see you all in the next video.